you guys probably aren't going to be able to see it here on camera, but down there behind this house is an orange Dodge Charger. And uh, I just got another story. I have to. Uh, My goodness. <laughs> I am so glad we turned around. So what was your name? Uh, Josh Cruzan. Josh. And this is your brother's car. Yeah. It's been sitting here for four years. Uh, four or five years. Four or five years. It's freshly painted. Like this has nicer paint than every vehicle I own. And I'm not actually exaggerating. Like it's dirty, but it's it's a shiny car. What? It's got wheels and tires on it. It's got glass with it. I need to come back to Indiana and help. This is crazy. This is legitimately shocking. What the hell? <laughs> what do you think? Why is this, why? Why is this here? <laughs> Dude. That's amazing. I'm so glad we stopped. Seriously, thanks for the story and thanks for letting us know. And I, I will legit reach out and uh, let's try to do something. All right, so we are here in Southern Indiana, the same farm we stopped at back in like March when we were driving the Gremlin home from Kevin's house, where we also got the second gen that's right here. Truck is doing great, but we're not really here for the truck entirely. This trip was more about a certain orange car that's behind me in the background. And it's not every day you see a 69 Dodge Charger that was being turned into a General Lee, has fresh paint, and then was just parked. So it's been sitting here for about five years. Let's give you a quick walker out of this thing and uh, get it loaded on the trailer and keep heading south because we got more miles to make. And this truck so far has been coming in clutch. So no complaints with how this thing's working. All right, so this is Josh Pearson. This is the owner's brother. Uh, the owner's name is Caleb Pearson. Yeah. And uh, he's actually down in Texas right now because that's where he's working. Back in the day, he finally found one and then the guy is uh, like Matt Gray. Yeah. It, we had it in the barn. We were planning on restoring a long time ago, but just never did it. Then he got into actual doing metal work and then he brought it to school, did all this beautiful metal work, painted it. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the story. Then life got in the way and he moved down to Florida and uh, I got stuck with it. Yeah, that's, that's what happens sometimes. So we all have good intentions with our projects, but you know, we don't always get them done. We're guilty of that at Sally's Beach Up too. We have a yard full of them. Um, but basically uh, the car runs pretty much. I mean, yeah. when it was parked, what, yeah. five, five, six years ago, something like that? Uh, give or take about five or six years, yeah. Okay. So uh, it, it was running and driving and then it blew a transmission line is what you said. Yeah. So well, well, that's what I was told. I, I don't okay. actually, know if it's a transmission line or you just didn't get hooked up or not gotcha so basically we are going to try to get this car running in its current form just because you got to know if it runs and uh we might even stop in and see dylan mccool on the way down and so if you're watching this after you've watched dylan mccool's video then this makes total sense yeah we're gonna see if we can get it running but basically for now we're just gonna load up some of the parts that are with it and uh put it on the trailer and head south because this car needs a little more than we could do in a field and we want to do it right rather than like cobbling it together and then handing it to him and being like, yeah, it kind of works. We want it to actually like properly work. So let's show you around the car real quick. As the car sits, it is obviously a little bit taken apart from when it was at the body shop. As you can see, the front grille isn't in here. There's no bumper. It does have the complete drivetrain in it. Obviously the suspension's under it and uh, there's pretty much no interior. The dash is still in here, um, but the seats are gone. There is the, the back seat is in here in some fashion. There are a couple door panels, 
Um, we're missing some glass and, uh, you know, door panels, all that stuff. But the car is really solid from what we can tell. And he did a lot of metal work on this car. So it had rear quarters put on it. I'll actually drop in some photos of this car when it was in the body shop where he had the factory quarter panel was cut off of this car. Then he reskinned it completely. And he was in the process of doing actual trunk pan and i don't know the whole story we'll have to talk to caleb it didn't get finished so as you can see it's missing some of the trunk pan as well as some of the inner wheel well so we'll have a little bit of metal work to do back here but it's already painted so that's an easy job we don't have to do and we'll do our best to track down all the parts that we can for this car and get it back on the road so he can enjoy it with his family all right let's look under the hood too i guess we don't have a hood latch so got a 440 under the hood it's got a wind intake with a holly carburetor still got cast iron manifolds it's it's all here is the main thing it even has the msd distributor in this thing so we'll have to dig into this thing and see if it's actually going to run and uh then probably clean out the motor a little bit put some better suspension on the car do some sheet metal work all that stuff we're not going to completely restore it that's not our role in this so uh, we're going to get it to a point where he could continue to work on it and uh literally take it out with his family and and enjoy it rather than having it sit in the field so like it's one thing to find a car sitting in a field that you know is rusted into the ground and ruined it's a whole other thing to find a car that has beautiful orange paint on it and uh we'll just have to clean it up and you know make it shine like it's supposed to but yeah there she is basically we're gonna drag it out of here winch it up onto the trailer and keep on rolling and uh then work on it when we get further south oh yeah nice oh he's got the keys to the car right here man normally you find these cars sitting you don't get the keys but i guess when it's in the same family yeah. That helps. We are gonna put a little bit of air in the tires and uh, that'll make it roll a little easier as we drag it out from where it's been sitting. Um, this one apparently has a cut in it, so I don't think we're gonna get any air into it, um, but that's on the back end. It's lighter back here anyway, so it'll be fine. We're gonna use Connor's second gen 24 valve truck. Um, this is Josh's cousin and he has a much nicer truck than we have. Look at this thing. So my dad's just about got the tires filled up and we were digging through, finding more parts for the car. Pulled these out of the shed over there. This is a front grill for it. I believe it's for a 68 because it doesn't have the center divider. Um, it does have the hideaway headlights and all the you know support for the hood latch and everything. So that's a big deal because that's kind of hard to find. We do have a rear bumper with the brackets. Uh, we'll have to find a front bumper for the car, but you know, this is a pretty good amount of stuff. We even have the CB antenna because this is not just any Dodge Charger. That's going to be a General Lee, of course. It's orange. Yeah, this is like the magnetic one in that other Charger episode where you just stick it on the back. Oh, yeah, everybody, everybody's everybody got to have a CB antenna. Magnetic is the way to go. Um, so we've got Connor's truck over here, and we've actually never used this. It's been riding around in my dad's truck for a long time, but we're breaking out the Yankum rope. It's a kinetic rope. They actually stretch so you don't like, you know, it's not too violent on the vehicles. And we're going to hook a soft shackle around the rear axle and then just hook it over his tow ball and pull it out of here. So you see, we've got the soft shackle wrapped around the rear axle and then uh, the Yankum rope actually hooked to the soft shackle. Now we can go hook that to the truck and we'll be good to go. The no, no trunk floor is actually nice. You can film under here easier. <laughs> this is really interesting. This thing's a pretty solid car though. The frame rails are really nice. Like if you look around, there is not much in the way of rust. There is like a torch cut hole up here in like the rear defrost or whatever package tray type deal this is. But everything else, really nice. Brand new quarters on it, shiny deck lid. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be too, too bad. All right, let's yank this thing out of here. Josh is gonna steer it and walk with it. See how we do.
I need to get your truck with four-wheel drive. That's no big deal. We tried. Oh, yeah, we tried. Yeah, his four-wheel drive's not working, apparently. All right, we traded out the second gen that only has two-wheel drive, unfortunately, for a Chevy with four-wheel drive. Hopefully, this thing comes on out of here. See what happens. Go for it. That's more like it. <laughs> All right, start turning. Rolling for the first time in a while. Oh, yeah. Man, it left some holes where it was sitting. Oh, bush light can, nice. <laughs> All the wheels roll though, don't they? Yep. Even the one with the flat tires rolling. The wheels roll really good, actually. That's I'm, impressive. I'm, I'm surprised by that. Yeah, most of the time you drag a car out from somewhere and all the wheels are locked up. So we should be able to just leave it straight right here and uh, back the truck and trailer up to it and winch it on because luckily we have a winch on the trailer. Car haulers are not very useful without a winch. Freaking awesome. Well, we took a little while making this thing actually fit on the trailer like it should, strapping it down good, strapping the hood down because there's no hood latch. We got the doors strapped shut so they don't swing open because the strikers aren't in them right now. And we even got the deck lid strapped down. So hopefully it'll ride. I think you got to do the whole, that ain't going anywhere and then you're good to go. So now we get a really clapped out truck towing a pretty nice Dodge Charger, which is, kind of ridiculous so we're gonna hit the road and see how this thing does almost two hours to Dylan's place where we actually get this thing running and then maybe derby it in this field a little bit. We'll see how it goes. Don't know if the engine's locked up or anything, so it's yet to be determined. It is the next morning. We are officially at the one and only Dylan McCool's place. And what we're gonna do here is he's gonna do his classic will it run video and maybe we'll end up derbying the thing in the field because he's got a big field right here. But if you want to see all the details on that, you're going to have to go check out his channel. I mean, how often do you get somebody to roll up in your driveway with a, a General Lee? I mean, it's kind of cool. I thought you'd be more <laughs> excited about this. I mean, this thing is pretty... I heard you from the highway. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear you. And I, that's how I knew you had pulled in. I'm like, sounds like a, a Cummins at some point. And sure enough, they're just a big light show and you just hear you from miles away yeah this thing is the truck is a beast rad. but what we're gonna do real quick is a cold start on this thing because it is frosty out this morning you can see <laughs> this wheel in the back is completely covered in frost as well as the charger is completely covered in frost 
So it's like, I don't know, maybe 30 degrees right now, but I bet the engine is colder because it was outside overnight. It's keeping my drink cold. Yeah, really. it's nice. Have to try. So we're gonna fire this thing up and don't worry, don't go anywhere if you wanna see the car run because if we do get it running, I am gonna show you at least us, you know, driving it around if it'll do that. But if you want all the little nitty gritty details of what went into getting it running, you're gonna have to go to his channel, so. Yeah. Divide and conquer. Divide and conquer, that's yeah. right. Let's fire this thing up and see what happens. It seems like every time we work on a second gen charger, you show up. Yeah, it seems to be. It's starting to be a trend. <laughs> I, I don't mind it. No, it's a really cool trend. If you keep bringing me chargers to work on, I'll yeah. do it. We've done a 68. Yep. Now I'm bringing you a 69-ish. Yep. As you can see, this is a General Lee clone. And he stopped in on the way here just so we could see if we could get it to run and drive around the field and, you know, do some General Lee stuff. So stick around to the end of the video and see if we can make this thing run and drive for the first time in quite a long time. Let's get to it. Let's do it. I have to get out first though. Oh gosh. <clears throat> I'm just gonna fall out. They really made it look easy. Ah! There we go. We got a really big battery, so hopefully it fits. Oh, well, it's kind of perfect. I mean, that's the only thing we do is perfect. Oh. <laughs> the battery tray leaves a little bit to be desired. Mm, yeah, I mean. But it's not gonna go anywhere. Yeah, we'll just uh, we'll the radiator holds it in. <laughs> All right, there's the negative. Let's see. Oh geez, if anything happens, mm. it's quiet. That was anticlimactic. Yeah, <laughs> but there's also no smoke, so that's good. Well, you do have the key. You have keys to the car. Is the key pop to it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> the key in the dash. If anything happens. All right, let's find out. You ready? Yep. Oh! It's got compression. It's, it's got, got compression, yeah. It's got all the good things. Well, that was easy. It didn't yeah. even have to mess with wiring. Just put a battery in it and it turns over. Sometimes it is nice. Yeah, you know, so. Sometimes you get blessed with a little bit easy time. So we're gonna actually use this to fill up the float bowl the best we can. I'm seeing, is that a reman tag you think? Or is it? It's some kind yeah. of sticker. Remanufactured. By Holly. Okay. Well, thank you, Holly, for remanding this uh, carburetor for us. What do you want to bet that the accelerator pump diaphragm is gone? 50 50 shot. 50 50? Well, it's usually, though. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes sometimes, don't it? All right. Let's see if it runs. You ready? Yep. <laughs> oh. Come on. The choke is open. Hold on. Let me yeah, try and. Yeah. There's signs of life. <laughs> I don't know if there's any fuel in there. Try it again. All right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it runs. It does. <laughs> I was trying to see if the oil pressure gauge came up, but the gauges were so dusty I couldn't tell. Yeah, these uh, Mopars, they'll be a little rattly until it builds up some oil pressure. That's completely normal. So we'll just try and make it run and then we'll we'll just work on taking this thing off. We only got seven cylinders right now, but it is idling. So once we get that seventh plug, the eighth oh, yeah. plug, it'll smooth out for sure. There's no oil pressure on the dash, but it's an electric gauge, so. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. it's the, see it back there, it's a factory style gauge. Oh, it's not gauge. plugged in, that's why. Oh, that might, that might have something to do with it. Yeah, I think the tab's broken off the top of the cender. No, it's there. Right there, that's it. Oh, does it just slide over? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. 
Now try it. Almost idling. Yeah, you Still anything. none on the, but I don't think it doesn't have oil pressure. No, it sounds I, fine. Yeah, it sounds like a. It is charging. Is it? Yeah. Oh, sweet. <laughs> this one has a working accelerator pump. We'll give it a couple pats there. I'm just going to say that it probably will crank. You ready? Go for it. <laughs> That's a little better. Yeah. Much, much better. Is there any transmission leak? I don't we see do any. have no coolant in it yet. I don't see any leaks at all. Let's see how it sounds in the back. Oh, not bad. Oh, power steering works. Does it? Yeah, look at that. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh, right, well, yeah, we didn't turn the fuel pump on. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, let's fill it up with water and I guess get the junk out of it. I haven't even looked at what's in there yet. I just literally strapped the doors together and drove it home because there's no strikers on the doors yet. <laughs> um, so we're probably, actually, we need to leave the strap in there so they don't fly open. Yes. So we're going to have to Dukes and Hazard it. Like, You're going to have 100%. to find the door for sure because there's no door latch, no door locks, nothing. We will open them to empty it out. Yeah. But we, Yeah, we got to clean all this stuff out. I, I kind of want to just... Fill it up with coolant, like you said, and let's just let it idle for a little while. Yeah, and let's steal a wheel and tire off of your, your Cuda over there. Yeah. Because we got one that got has a hole in it. Yeah, hopefully that one doesn't have a hole in it too. It's holding there, I can see it. It's, yeah, it should be fine. It's good, it's in the tree row. That's the brake pedal, see, so does it do anything? Oh yeah. It's, it's got a pedal. It's got a good pedal. Wow, it actually has a really good pedal. All right, you ready? Go for it. Get a, a pat. Is the is the throttle hooked up? Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, it's water. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a little over full, but it's it's it should have enough. Let's see. Pull it down in gear. Let me put the dipstick back in. Go for it. Is the brake holding? Yep. We got brakes. <laughs> we don't have to spend 27 hours doing the brakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's, that's the best nice. feeling ever right there. That's really nice. All right. Only way to get into this now is the classic Dukes of Hazard style way. But how do they do this part? Oof. That's the hard part. <laughs> they made it look so easy. <laughs> <laughs> We got our fuel pump on. We've got everything to where it should start. Yep. You ready? Ready. Oh, dude, that's solid. <laughs> that's <laughs> crazy. Oh, the gas pedal's not eat. It's not really there. Yeah. It moves. Whoa. It doesn't Fireball. do burnouts yet. <laughs> not yet, not quite. <laughs> it needs a little more attention before you hammer on it. I tried to stomp it. Just you to you see. couldn't help yourself. I couldn't help it. Fire's right back up though. Gas pedal sticks. We need to That's it. lube that up. Okay. <laughs> it spins the wheels. Oh, the brakes work good. I feel like I have to, right? <laughs> That's perfect. All right, it does donuts. <laughs> All right, we can go home now. That's amazing. <laughs> I couldn't help it. Yeah. I mean, you can't get in a car like this and not do that. No, so. not in the slightest. All right, take her to the shop. We got a little work to do. Yeah. Freaking awesome, man.
<laughs> I cannot believe the dome light works in this car, the brakes work, the charging system works. Man, that is amazing. Generally, back on the road after sitting for like six years, and it hardly took anything to do it. Oh yeah, I gotta get out the hard way. Oh god. You left a trail of something. Oh yeah? It's leaking whatever something out. I think it's that that transmission line. I think so. Yeah. yeah, we'll have to fix it. I'm smoking a little bit. Dude. That was, rips. That was awesome. <laughs> Well, we smoke it from. Oh, the smoke it everywhere. Probably just where we were touching it. Oh, yeah. Let's check the fuel pump off. Sweet. Yeah, do you see anything leaking? Yeah, it's leaking. Yeah, but that's easy. We just put a piece of rubber line on there. Yeah, that'll be an easy fix. We'll put it up on the lift and check it out if you want to. Yeah, I want to know what it looks like underneath. It seems like a really solid car. And I mean, look, it just did a donut. So. Yeah, like it was nothing, too. It didn't even care. All right, now that me and Dylan are back from lunch, we're going to clean out the inside of this thing and uh, see if there's any other random treasures in here. Uh, get the car cleaned up on the outside and then pull it on the lift, check it out underneath, and then, of course, go do some more donuts. And jump it. Jump it. No, we're not jumping it. <laughs> None of that. Although, according to a certain TV show, these cars are invincible. From what we've gathered, at least. Oh, yeah. That was one car the whole time, right? Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't 334 different cars. The used. shows, the movies, the revamps, all that. Same all car. one car. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One car. You, think, you guys didn't know that? <laughs> anyway, we're going to get to work cleaning that. Another thing you have to go to Dylan's channel to see is the iconic Dylan McCool pressure washing video. He's out there getting that thing cleaned up before we pull it in the shop, put it on the lift, and look underneath it. He's got a wildfire four post here, and it's going to be super nice to check out the bottom of that car when it's up in the air rather than, you know, on the ground in the dirt like we have been. Look at it shining though. That's a good looking car. Really good looking car. You sure I can't, like, keep it? Yeah, leave it to Dylan to try to buy the, you know, project you're trying to fix for somebody else every time. the transmission line that I thought wasn't going to leak. Well, it turns out it leaked a lot. So we got a trail of ATF leading into the shop. I'm going to go ahead and cut this line in two spots to avoid where it's kinked over and cracked. And we're just going to slip a rubber hose on it with some clamps and that'll take care of the leak. And then we can actually drive this thing a little more. I don't know if these are safer or not. You can't see anything out of them, but I don't <laughs> want ATF in my eyes. Like it never even happened. Yeah. This thing looks really clean. I mean, it's got a little rust in the floors, but Nothing that can't be fixed. It's honestly better than a lot of cars we've dealt with. You know it. Not. It looks like the brakes were. The, there's a new brake hose on that side. So he might have done the brakes recently. Looks like a new brake line was done on this one. Yeah. So that, that explains why the brakes are so good. <laughs> Maybe they were done right before it was parked. Got some dual exhaust here. Looks like chambered mufflers. I kind of want to see if it's a sure grip or not. I think it is though based on how it's like really spin happy. And then back here, you know, of course you've got big old hole, but that's okay. It's nothing that Jacob can't fix. At least half of it was already done. He just has to do the other half. It's art project time. I mean, what is a General Lee without all the decals, you know? Oh, you're doing a good job of it too. I mean, you know, I'm no kale, but I'll do my <laughs> best. Perfect. It's actually pretty good. 
Oh, that was easy. I actually tightened it like the correct amount. <laughs> oh yeah, nice and thin. <laughs> Smells like old gasoline and oil mixed together. For what? The oh, yeah. Mm. I tried and failed. Just completely beat that car out of Oh my goodness, that's tight. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> I hit it and I was like, it moved a lot more than I expected. How do you get the oil filter out? I think it's gonna have to come out the top. We could have just dropped it down, but doing this is whoa, way smarter. Sir, is this OSHA approved? Your life is worth more. Don't jump. Hey, look, it's a Fram. There's people who care about you. Everybody's favorite oil filter. Oh. Can you hand me the new one with a little oil? Where would that be? Wherever I put the oil. I really hope this is the right oil filter. Yeah, fl one eight. You don't trust me. It says Ford on it. Hey man, I want it to run good, so we're gonna put a Ford filter on it. Would you like the Kirkland Signature 1540, sir? The internet's probably gonna be mad at me for this one. My dad Kirkland. bought a case of Kirkland Select or Kirkland Signature heavy duty diesel oil from Costco. Hey man, somebody who makes like a really good brand guarantee makes the Costco brand. Almost definitely. I've never had bad Costco stuff, so. Do you want me to let you down? You can. I haven't cranked this car yet. This is my first try. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. Negative cable. The oh, I was so happy. We should also strap this battery down in some fashion. Is it ready? I've had it. <laughs> like it was made for it. Yeah. Hold on. Whoa. <laughs> I. I don't know about that. I don't think that's good. Cool. I mean, I'm good. I don't Let know about see. you. Might have to stack them. No, that's perfect. Are you just shorter than me? No, right? look at my legs. They're straight out. <laughs> Too nice of a car to do this to. Look, you know. All right. That's how you got to do it, right? Quick. Yeah. yeah. We're running from the law. Whoa! I thought you were about to do a rock for something. Just fell. <laughs>
do it, then I'll... <laughs> I was being so gentle, like maybe 3,000 RPS. Well, like, let's go to 4,500. All right, I think I think I see the, the cops coming. We gotta run. Oh. I'm at a <laughs> that was a workout. Oh man, this is the best day ever. Oh. That was amazing. That was fantastic. Dylan was way meaner to it than I was. Sorry guys, uh, it's not very often you get to do that. <laughs> I was like maybe three grand, he's like five grand. <laughs> and, and right around his camera guy. I'm like, well, I, think, I don't think me and you have established that level of trust yet. Uh, yeah, I think. Briar's used to near death experiences at this point. <laughs> now, the general elite. Thank you so much for letting me yeah, have a good fun. time today. <laughs> this was such a fun day. So, if you want to see more, please subscribe to his channel. I'm like, I was screaming so hard about him. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> so, this car is going to go from like this cobbled together running thing we have now to a complete car yeah. ready to drive it so they can enjoy it as a family. Exactly. So that's the goal. Exactly. So, if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe, leave a like down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Oh, we missed. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's a wrap at Dylan McCool's place. We got the Charger running. Derby did in the field. Yes. He chased me in his cop car. Best, best day ever. It was legitimately Honestly. like living out childhood dreams. Like you grow up watching Dukes of Hazard, and then you get to like go reenact it like cops and robbers on a real level. Yes. So it was absolutely amazing. Huge thank you to this guy. If you're not following him, you're missing out and probably a lot more of you are following him than you are me anyway. So that's fine, isn't it? That's how it works. Hey, quantity over quality, right? Or, <laughs> <laughs> <Hold on. laughs> I like that. So we're gonna hit the road. We got like four hours back to Noonan and uh, Charger's back on the trailer loaded up and it's a running car now. I'm kind of sad to see it go. Yeah, it is kind of. Disappointing for you. He always tries to buy all the chargers <laughs> well, we work on. Can you blame me? No, I can't. I just I'm glad that you're doing all the floor pans and metal work and stuff. I'm gonna come back and drive it when you're done. How's that sound? He's getting the better end of that deal. But <laughs> hey, it needs done and it's gonna be cool to do it to this car in particular. Sure. So this thing is awesome. Yeah, like four, it. four more hours in the Cummins. Good luck, man. The nice I've, I've you... started calling it hot garbage. Well, you know what? I've never seen something more fitting. Yeah, it's pretty accurate. I love it though. It's a great truck. <laughs> yeah, it's been it's been fantastic. So, all right, let's keep on rolling.